Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I've got the usual mixture of machining, welding, and a little bit of plasma cutting. There's some fuel meal came in. I want to show some of that. I'm off work this next week, uh, so I'm hoping to get a lot more time in the shop, get one or two things finished off and tidied up. I've got one or two items from Bango to do reviews on, and I've also got a nice little DC, very simple stick inverter welder from Artec to do a review on, so I'm hoping to get on with them. Before I show tonight's video mail, I want to read an email um, I've had sent to us. I do get some quite nice emails. I get some nasty ones as well, but they're normally quite nice. Anyway, before I show what this video has sent in, I'm going to read this email. Dear John, I've been a long time subscriber of your channel and I've enjoyed every video. I had an accident at work in September 2016. My previous job was in construction. In my recovery time and not knowing what to do with life in general, I stumbled upon your channel. I was inspired to take a new direction with my future career, so I studied at my local trade college to take up welding. Fast forward one year, I'm now a qualified welder and working for Bisley. The money is good and a lot warmer than construction. I owe my career and my future to you and your channel and you personally. If this message is mentioned in the Sunday Night Cap or standalone video, I hope it will provide inspiration to others to take up the trade. Thank you so very much, Thomas Williamson. Well, I think that's really splendid. It's actually touched me um, that I can make a difference, I suppose. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you what Thomas has sent in, and hopefully next week there'll be a vast improvement in the audio quality of my video. Right, so this is what's been sent in to us, or donated to the channel, the radio microphone kit. I've been wanting to do some of the audio on my videos for quite some time. All you've got is a little microphone that you wear on your, your pair or your tie. A little sender unit. That's a sender unit there, microphone plugs in and you, that gets clipped on your, on your belt. I'm sure you've seen all the attractive young ladies with one of them clipped on that, that belt that's if you see why the plugs into the camera dead simple it means the microphone shouldn't pick up all the background noise I've been getting the noise of the gearbox on the lathe and the heat and various things I'm looking forward to, uh, to trying this so once again thanks very much I really do appreciate this and uh, Hopefully it's going to make a big difference to my audio. These are the bits and pieces I'm going to do with a review on. Some 5C collar blocks and some spot wheels. Okay, let me try and see how, how good they are. Or how bad they are. I've got a sketch here for a part of lad and he's making. It's basically bearing housing. He supplied the bearing. The bearing goes in there like that so that needs to be a a press in fit it's got a through hole the 30 the bearings 35 and it's got a ring of 8 secure bolt holes in there 25mm pitch circle diameter that's 25mm from the centre to there 8 of them so I've got a piece of steel here Right, I found a super little bit of steel in the scrap bin. Certainly plenty on there, that would have been 80 mil round originally. Yep. And I'll see much just made of steel, so we'll utilise that. Take these jaws out and put the reverse jaws in.
I mean, that's number one, so we'll start with number one first. Idiot. Then number two. certainly get out of there, no problem. I'll have to be careful when I break through. Because the internal diameter is bigger than bigger than that, so which means we're really we can't bore all the way through the 30 mil. Certainly appears to be running nice and true. already got a centre mark in there so I'm going to put a real stiff centre drill in just to make sure it is in the middle and I'll do the ball first so there's more chance of making a mistake getting the, the bearing fit the rest was fairly straightforward put a real big centre drill in there mil that was a 29 mil drill so we need this 30 and then counter boring 34 point whatever to fit the uh, to fit the bearing make a bearing and interference fit that's a drill I was given um, I think they used by the railway for drilling part of the lanes I've got a couple of them given I kept one they give one away Chip breaker. Yeah, it's got BR on there. England high speed steel BR for British Rail. Certainly a, a decent bit of bit of kit. Means now I've got to bore this to 30. I can have a little bit of experiment with different boring bars until I get the sort of finish in there I want. Ready to bore the there and fit. That's all quite a nice job. Board not critical, all the music to practice on to get the, the critical one for the bearing rate. Set to zero.
for the bearing. Bearing's 35mm dead. You can measure the snap gauge. Zero, zero 005 so that bearing will be a nice tight fit in there which is just what I want I'm pleased I stopped when I did I was wanting to creep up a little bit on that but that's going to be that's going to be fine and I bought that down to a depth of 16.5 so a light skip off here is going to give us the the true depth is 16mm. So now that we'll take a diameter down, the outside diameter. The finished length needs to be 26, so if I zero, we do our row at that. When you're doing 26, there's 28, so I've got a bit to play with. And I've got enough clearance on that tool between the chuck and the tool, albeit just, but clearance is clearance. So we'll put a mark on and then machine it down to that. Machine that very nicely, breaking the chips nicely. Keeping cherry bango tooling doing the job. Fifty-eight dead, so that's the outside done. I'm going to face this to get that depth right, and then put two little champers on there, champer there, champer there. I'm going to have to turn it around, part it off. Nice little lead in there for the bearing to go into. Unfortunately I can't get enough, there's nothing but to part it off, I'll have to turn it around and part it off, but I have got a nice shoulder to rest it up against. turned it round, still running nice and true. I need to part this off. Now I had been having problems with chatter uh, parting off and I did nip the headstock bearings up very slightly and I think the results should probably speak for ourselves now.
I'm happy with that. And he's never fought enough like that for a long time. Right, that tip's just just giving in there. Different straight away and finish on easy cutting. Definitely made a big difference slipping up those headstock bearings. That was a four mil cut there, so it's made a big difference. Right now, it's just the outer holes to go in. 